There are things in life that are generally considered to be a waste of time. The most common things are what? Video games, scrolling on social media, watching TV, brain rot activities, as the world likes to call it now. However, I am someone who enjoys these things, but in a specific manner. I'm quite the proactive person. I follow quite the insane schedule every single day. Yet I still find time to do these things and do it in a productive way. Now I believe in moderation, depending on what it is. There are things that you can't be moderate about. For example, doing drugs or snorting crack. You can't do crack time to time. That still makes you a crackhead. However, things like video games and social media and these things, I have learned to optimize in my own way. Now, it's not a very conventional method, but for me at least, it's done me pretty well. If I didn't do the things that I do, I guarantee you I would not be in this position that I'm currently in. And these are quote unquote, generally unproductive things. So let me explain mine. Fortnite. I still play Fortnite very often. Social media. I don't have very many social media apps on my phone, but the ones that I do have, I've optimized to be very significant. TV shows. Another thing that I've learned to use productively. Let's start with Fortnite. I have two monitors. I have one over here and I have one over here, okay? Whenever I play Fortnite, I never just play with nothing going on. There's always something going on on the other monitor. So what I do is I don't have volume on my game at all. And I haven't had any volume, not even 1% volume on the game because that is distracting. What I used to do in university, instead of reading my textbooks, I would have my textbooks on a PDF file and I would use this Chrome extension. I don't know what it's called, but I'll put it up. They're not paying me to promote them, but I use this Chrome extension that played out the textbook with someone reading it. And I've learned from when I was a kid, it's much easier for me to consume literature when it's being read to me rather than when I read it. And it's always been this way. I do read, but I'm able to consume better when it's being read to me. So what I would do is I'd play the textbooks and on my other screen, I'd play Fortnite or I'd, I'd 1v1 people. And that's something that doesn't take very much brain power for me because it's just muscle memory. So I ended up finishing university with like an 80% average from doing that strategy. So now that I'm done university, I still do that to learn. So as I play Fortnite on my other screen, I'll have an audiobook playing. And every month I'll end up going through four audiobooks that are so significant to the rest of my career because I have an interest in it. Next, social media. Let me show you what my social media looks like. My Instagram, which this is my Instagram, go follow it. But on my Instagram, my entire explore feed are literally things that are beneficial to me. So workout videos, expensive watches, quotes, nature, certain topics that I have interest in, calisthenics, things that are beneficial to me. That's what my attention is exposed to whenever I'm on Instagram. Now, I don't have Instagram on my phone because that app is crack. I'm telling you, that app is the most addictive app I've ever seen in my life. So I can't have it on my phone. I will re-download the app to post, but that's about it. I, I'm not allowed. I don't allow myself that app. It's too much. Same thing with TikTok. Same thing with YouTube. I have this Chrome extension on YouTube that only limits my attention to people who I'm subscribed to. So if I'm not subscribed to you, I will never see your videos. And I'm subscribed to like 13 people. People who can be beneficial to me. You must limit your attention. Your attention is your biggest currency. Next, shows. Shows, if approached properly, are not a waste of time. It's actually a super productive thing if consumed properly. Don't I don't like to use shows as a way to turn off my brain and just sit back and just not exist. I couldn't even do that even if I wanted to. But what I do is I'll have an intention before I watch something. So if I heard something about, say, Mad Men, big boy Jack Hopkins recommended that show. So as I watch it, I watch it with the intention that it's going to be beneficial to me and I can learn something from it. And as I edit my videos, because I'm editing on this screen and on this screen is free, I'll be watching the show. And I've learned so many things that are applicable because my intention is there. Even with anime, there are certain animes that have literally, literally shaped my existence and changed my life. Now, I know that's a big claim to make, but if you know, you know. Let's take One Piece. That show is the most popular show in Japan, and Japan is huge on this genre of creation. Yet the people of Japan thought that One Piece was the greatest show of all time. They called the author of One Piece God in Japan. <laughs> I'm not kidding. They call him God. So me hearing about that and also other factors 
I watched the show with the intent that I could learn something from it. And when I watched that show, it implanted ideas in my brain that I would have never got if I never watched One Piece because I had the intention that I would learn something from it. And I did. So what's the cheat code to indulging in unproductive things productively? Have an intention, limit your attention, and be smart. Know when you're being mindless when you indulge in these things. Be smart about it. Know when you're being mindful and know when you're being mindless and live. Life will be much more enjoyable if you do that. So if you're still watching, comment your prediction when we'll hit 1 million subscribers.